Okay, I have a bit more still to do, but I wanted to show off where I'm at with it. I have raised the platform up nine inches. This allows me to get the full blower plus the full 5,000 chiller underneath it and everything else. So it's now all in one cart and very condensed on this unit. The next thing that I did, I came over here and I got rid of the USB port here because they use that annoying uh, end that you have to use a special cable for, which no one ever has. And I switched that over and I took out the plugs on the back and put in a standard USB jack on the back there. You'll also notice I put the power for the machine on the back here and I have a 3D printed plug for that. I have coming in, a uh, for the other blank that's here, uh, a ethernet cable. This is where the old plugs used to be. I got rid of that and opted for a power strip that has um, the uh, control circuit. So that what happens is, is that it powers on and turns everything else on with it, the chiller and the pump and all that stuff. I went that way because I, got, I did not want to have all that power inside um, with interference and frankly the wiring they put inside of it was way too thin. So I got rid of all of that to pull all those wires out. The next thing is I put a giant 100 watt laser tube in and then 3D printed a cover for it. I replaced the new optics, replaced the 18 inch mirror there, it was a gold mirror and got rid of that junk and put in a 25 inch mirror. And then you come over to the other side and I put inside a whole new 25 inch mirror over there, 25 inch mirror there, and 20 inch lens there. The other thing I did is that I hated that the vent came out the side of the machine, it just took up extra room on the place. So I 3D printed a cap to cover that off. I sealed off the holes on the inside and I put the vent on the back door. Just a you know, jigsaw with a metal blade and put a flange on there and called it a day. So now it just goes straight out, straight underneath, and then back out and then out the window right there. But here's what I wanted to show you is that as soon as I power it on, everything's going to power up with it. There goes the chiller, the pump, the compressor, everything like that. Watch it snap into place. Now watch this. Give it a second, and the pump all goes down. I am very happy, five millimeters a second. That's pretty darn fast to get through three quarter inch. With a 100 watt tube, 25 millimeter mirrors, and a 20 millimeter, 63.5 millimeter lens. Not too shabby.